Tim Smith with the 25. How much and what kind of cardio do you recommend? I'm a former distance runner, but too many injuries and too easily injured, uh, and I quit running. Um, I have been lifting and boxing with my gloves and punching bag lately. What does lactichine mean? Um, <clears throat> I'm starting. I'm starting to run. I'm a runner now. I think if you uh, you need some, you need muscle mass. You need muscle mass to keep your keep your joints like together. And I also think it's a bad idea generally to train um, past the point of fatigue where you can no longer have good control over your. Uh, your joints so when you're running and you feel your stride getting sloppy and you can no longer that's when that's when injuries happen um, that goes for pretty much pretty much everything um, it's a bad idea to uh, I, I think it's a bad idea to spar or do boxing stuff when you're when you're so fatigued that you really have no effectively you don't have any control over your what your body's doing and you're learning nothing, you're just being a punching bag. Um, I think it's a bad idea to to do lifting lifting when you're uh, like cross crossfit rep ranges, like hundreds of reps where you just you just don't have control over what your body's doing. You're just applying like raw muscular exertion with no um, cause you need you need to control your your form so that you don't injure yourself. I think that applies to running too. Um, so I think that you could st you could still run. Just get some get some muscle mass and um, don't run past the point of you know being able to control your stride and your what, what your feet are doing. Man, I was I was uh, when I went to the bank today. There was this uh, big fat girl with heels, and she was something I talk about is how girls will like clop around, yeah. and the the way that they walk is insane. They they strike so hard like with their heels. Yeah. They, they, into the they walk so hard and then sometimes it's like the skinnier and smaller the girl is the more the more sort of careless carelessly they walk like stomping around and I wonder if that's psychologically if that's for the for a woman to feel like she's more has more of a presence or is more assertive you know yeah sort of to, to, to kind of like masculinize or like take some control over um, like I, I stomp when I walk that sort of yeah. that sort of thing. I wonder if subconsciously that's in there. But there was a girl today. I was watching her walk outside, and it was so aggressive that it was just comedic. And she was fat enough that I'm sure she's doing some real damage to her uh, her cartilage there. That's also probably uh, like heels, like the clacking of heels, the sound that makes. What psychological effect does that have on? Right. It's like a pen, a sharp, penetrating. Yeah. Well, it probably makes you. It probably makes. It's probably like driving a car with a loud exhaust or something. Yeah, yeah. It makes you feel like you're in control. So it probably is. You know, for them, maybe in a way, it's a healthy thing. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows what happens in those that carnival funhouse of a, the female mind. Uh, check out Hobo Joe four two one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Big Smitty. Thank you for the recommendations out here. Free Alpha.